Greetings vintage diecast fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Today we have part three of my walkthrough of my childhood collection of uh, diecast catalogues, um, all from 1982-1983. This one is probably going to be the one that's of most interest to most people, the Matchbox collection, because Matchbox are more worldwide and possibly more well-known uh, than Majorette and Corgi Juniors. Hope you enjoy it. Um, to save time later on, uh, there is going to be more content coming. I am going to go through my actual vintage collection of cars, which will get added on to the playlist that this video is part of. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you put the notification bell on. And please do like and please don't forget to comment. Also, <clears throat> is there if there is anything you would like to see a still of, please comment either on the video or on the Sharky's Garage Facebook page where the notification of this video will be posted and then I will post stills for any of you that want them. So let's get on to the page turning action. So here we go, the 1982-1983 Matchbox collector's catalog I have quite a few of these and you'll see some of them ticked as ones I wanted or certain ones I'd got uh, I think I had that or at least I know somebody who had that I'm not too certain that one's not ticked so uh, as the Peterbilt cement truck uh, formula racing car I think these are bigger ones these are the super kings are they uh, yeah, um, we've got that side. Four before open back truck, so it's not a licensed one. So it looks a bit like a Bronco. Flare side, definitely seen that, but I, again, I don't think it's a licensed one. Um, definitely got one of those in my collection. Um, in the lorries, you'll see. Wrecker truck, the ambulance. I think I had that, the Carmichael Rescue Vehicle. So it's a Range Rover with a Carmichael body on it, which obviously, because Matchbox at the time was UK owned, uh, based in London. Uh, Carmichael were the company that were making the bodies for these in the UK. Uh, the American cab over. Fiat R Bath. Jaguar SS100. I don't think I've got one of those, but I have got one in the models of yesteryear, which is the Matchbox one. Y1, Jaguar SS100, models of yesteryear. I was offered £80 for that in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I've got the whole of the first hundred of those. I'll need to dig those out at some point. Uh, Model A van. Um, the Audi Quattro. Again, my childhood age. Uh, things that I really enjoyed um, was the rally racing and um, so the Metro 6R4, the Audi Quattro had a big impact on me. Sorry for the dings, I forgot to turn notifications off on my phone before I started recording this. I have this, I have this on the back of a trailer in a set um, which you'll see um, but that one's obviously been ticked because I have it. In the last video I made sure I mentioned about the difference in the detailing between the helicopters. You can see here if you'd watched that video recently the difference between the two. Again the um, Fiat Matra Rancho um, again was a big thing at that point in time. Um, nice build and stuff like that really reminds me of some of the first Subaru Foresters as well. Um, Volvo cable truck. You can tell it's Volvo by the front grille although it's not licensed. Uh, Pontiac Firebird, 57 T-Bird, Thunderbird, uh, the double double delivery truck, I think I've, it might be that one I've got as opposed to when I was looking through the um, through the Majorette catalogue I thought it was the Majorette version I've got but I think it's this one with the opening rear doors. So, so these are new models for the 1982 I love these catalogues and I wish that we still got them today. I wish Hot Wheels and Matchbox would produce these. They would be such an awesome seller. Um, and also an awesome thing for people to try and collect all of them and to tick them off as they've got them. I've got that. I've definitely got that. I've seen that in my collection. 
and I'm fairly certain I had that as well, although I can't seem to find that. I had a lot of uh, aircraft because aviation was one of my things. My dad was a photographer, loved um, taking photos of planes. I went to a lot of air shows and thus um, planes were a thing. Um, this one I have got and you have seen it on my channel because this inspired my tribute build on the JJRC Q65 RC truck. Uh, was this vehicle here that I had as a child and you've seen that on the channel uh, what else we've got there Porsche Turbo 57 Chevy uh, again here we can see the opening features opening boots opening bonnets not hoods hoods if you're American bonnets if you're the rest of the world um, but yeah features to the die cast that we don't see today um, VW Golf Range Rover 3500, again, lots of those showing up through there. I've got a few of them. Um, my father um, had one and he also used to drive them for work as he was a police officer, which is why there's a lot of police vehicles in my collection. Giving a lot away about myself here. Not too sure whether that's a good idea or not, but hey, we'll run with it because we're talking about history. I think I might have that or a different version of that with a white roof and a red body um, in my collection. Here. The railway stuff, I've definitely got some of this. I've definitely got two versions of this. Um, this one, I've got an older version which has blue on the side and then I've got the this version with the yellow on the side. The blue version has an orange light on the top but again it's police definitely got one of those um because i've seen it um and although it's ticked there i've definitely seen it in the boxes when i had a quick flick through uh the caravan i've got that i've definitely got the um articulated truck um might think about sending some trucks down the race course at some point in time um the dump truck it's quite funky Definitely had one of these, um, the refuse truck, um, and the horse box. See again, uh, majorette did a horse box. Um, I've got two of them. I don't know whether they're majorette or whether they're um, matchbox. I've got loads of these with this under lorry and then the, the the containers on top. Definitely got that ambulance. And you see there the Rolls Royce, the railway stuff I've got quite a bit of, Combine, BMW M1. Um, I don't think I've got a 164 scale. I've got the larger, um, I think it's 124, uh, a yellow, bright yellow one. Hopefully I'm not moving this out of screen. I'll have to stand up and check in a second because this top down view I'm having to do in reverse to try and get it to work. Um, what else have we got interest there? Chevy, Chevy Corvette, Holden pickup. Oh, I miss Holden. I wish Holden was still going. They made some awesome stuff down in Australia. Porsche 928. Um, Cortina. I don't think I've got a Cortina in my collection. Or at least what I've got here. Uh, airport coach. I've got one of those. Chevrolet van. Cattle truck. Um, the roller but that's a bamog so that means that's actually a license by that company bamog which you don't see these days in this, this kind of thing um, obviously licensing back then was possibly a lot cheaper than it is now uh, datsun 260z ferrari i think that's a 380 gtb but it's not got it put on there model a ford I've got a green one of those that you've seen around the Vulcan Raceway track from time to time. Some of these sets. I don't think I had the set of these sets. Um, but you've got there the Javelin. I wish I had one of those. I mean, the real cars are worth a lot of money these days, so that one probably would be as well. Um, yeah, I definitely had the cattle truck and trailer. Um, the railway, not sure about. I've got the car, I don't think I've got the trailer set up. Um, the flare side and the boat trailer, not got those. 
the Citroen, no. I've definitely got this, this wrecker truck. Um, whether that came with the other Dodge I've got, I don't know. Um, I've definitely got that wrecker truck in my collection. Um, again, the caravans were a thing because caravanning was a thing. It wasn't a case of flying off an airplane on your foreign holidays. It was camping or caravan, even if you were very fortunate. Right, let's just double check. Everything's coming on the screen okay. Right, talking about heat, so I might have to record this as two parts and let my phone um, cool down because I've been recording these all on one day and um, the phone's overheating just a little bit because um, it's having to work hard. I've got a lot of these. I've definitely got that one. Uh, I've also got the Midnight Express. I've definitely got that one. And there's a special carry case that I've got them in. Um, where the truck and the trailer all fit into the case. So this is when the film Convoy came out. Uh, my favourite was always pig pen because my grandfather kept pigs and my uncle and aunt kept pigs. Now I had some of these. I don't think Donald Duck's in the boxes, but I think it's in one of the uh, loose boxes that I've got at home. Um, again, Disney's licensed. Uh, this is before Disneyland Paris was a thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, I love the way that these were caricatured and you've got your favourite cartoons and vehicles pulling together hobbies and it's great imagination for, for children. Um, Popeye. Popeye Mobile. The Olive Oil Mobile. And Bluto's Road Roller. Now, never had one of these. But I've got several of those and I've definitely got one of those in my collection, which you'll see with the cars that I've got here. Um, I don't think I had that gift set. I wish I did because that would make a ba great backdrop if I had that for, um, for Vulcan Raceway these days. Um, car transport set. I might have that car transport, I'm not certain. Um, the big sets weren't so much of a thing. Uh, they were a Christmas thing if you wanted something like that back in the day. Um, farming sets. Again, I wish I had that because that barn would have been useful for backdrop stuff. I'm fairly certain I had some of this. Um, but I don't think it lasted through. I don't think I kept it with these... Uh, bits that attach to the side of the track. I'm certain I had some of this track, but I think it was gotten rid of um, at some point in my childhood. I wish I still had it now because, again, it would be awesome. Um, for A11 Outlaws, I have found some Hot Wheels World track um, that I'm using for that, so some vintage track on that. Um, but yeah, each of the different manufacturers, whether it was Matchbox, whether it was Majorette, whether it was Hot Wheels, I don't think Corgi ever did their own track. Uh, but again, very different, different features, different ramps on and off. Um, play race. I'm fairly certain I had one of these. I don't think it was the garage. I think it might have been that one I had with these parking areas as a child. Loot race. Some of my love of racing came from that. It's interesting how this start gate is very similar to some of the stuff that Teamsters are producing these days. And I hope that they will produce a double start gate as opposed to two individual ones to make things easier for racing as a, as a difference, to give us a different way of doing things. Um, Super Streak. I think that had got a powered set in it. Um, as I said earlier, if you want to um, see any um, stills of any of this, please do go to Sharky's Garage RC and More Facebook page linked in the description. Uh, leave a comment there on the posting of this video of which pages from which catalogue you want to uh, see. Obviously, this video would be the Matchbox one, um, and I will try and provide you with stills of that for any more details that anybody needs for their collection or if they've got some of these vehicles and they want the, to get some still so that they can use them as backdrops, etc. More than happy to do that and help people out um, because this is a hobby about sharing. 
um, Audi Quattro, so I love that. Some of the lorry sets, Euro Express was one of the major haulers that time. Obviously, Pepsi uh, was more uh, predominant um, in Europe and whatever than Coca Cola was, and also more open to allowing licensing, which is why you see licensing here in Matchbox. You saw licensing majorette for Pepsi, you don't see Coca Cola. <coughs> Uh, helicopters, one of the better helicopters. I don't know whether these the, the, the super sized ones. These may be the bigger scale stuff. Um, because I, I'm fairly certain we're now getting on to the bigger scale stuff here. Uh, Jaguar police car, uh, Porsche police car, the Porsche uh, 911 Turbo, uh, the US Yellow Taxi, famous uh, from New York and such like, as famous as the black cabs are in London. And the, obviously the American style police car. And again, they come with figures. Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Teamsters, Zuru. Calling you out here. More figures, please. I'm fairly certain I had that set. This is one of the Super, Super Kings uh, ones. Fairly certain I had that because it was like the um, Hawk Jet. Um, flown by the uh, red arrows but at that point in time i think it was the nat which is closer in design to this um i may have had that one i'm not certain or maybe i just lusted after it as a child hopefully again i'm not going too fast too slowly uh the volvo we definitely had a volvo um i don't didn't we have an estate i can't remember um but we definitely had at least one volvo 240 uh, series uh, whether it was a 245 or not uh, my father drove a Volvo 244 um, police car um, at one point in time back when he was on traffic Kellogg's I remember that and there was some interesting advertising from Kellogg's um, around that the boat and the boat racing and powerboat racing Again, I may be going a little bit quickly, but this, this catalogue is a bit thicker than the other one. And um, so far we're at 16 minutes and I still have quite a bit to go. So I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit um, as I'm more interested in the 164 scale. Others may be interested in other stuff. Again, we can see, um, I think that's a Range Rover. Yeah, it's a Range Rover. Matra Rancho, again, in the Majorette, you saw it several times. I definitely had this. Definitely had that. I remember that. Definitely. Um, and that's in the Super Kings, Matchbox Super Kings. Uh, definitely had that one as well. That was an awesome transporter. Um, Volvo Rally set with the um, Datsun and the Volvo. Caravan being towed by the Jaguar. I think I had that set as well, but I don't I haven't ticked it there. But with the, the VW Golf and the petrol pump, Peugeot three hundred five, the Unimog um, main lamp maintenance set, the bridge, the Group Four. I remember that because of, of the that, and that was actually metal. I think I had that. Um, obviously, it's not ticked. Um, I definitely had that one, but I think that was metal. And that led, led to lots of play features as a child. I think play features are somewhat lacking these days. A little bit of lack of imagination by some of the, the, the way that they're doing things. They're more far more commercialised. Um, but there again, kids these days spend t way too much time on screens, in my humble opinion. They should be getting back and playing with stuff more. Creating the imagination by actually doing stuff as opposed to watching it on the screen and having it fed to them by computer game designers and things like that. Sorry, not getting on soapbox here. More figures. Um, but yeah, I always encourage um, my or I encourage my son to, to play and I encourage TJ to play, my partner's um, son. So, nearly there. Now, aeroplanes. I loved aeroplanes. I have most of these. Definitely remember that. Uh, the Corsair I loved, the shuttle I'd got. Um, they're not in what I've got to show you in another video. I may fish them out at some point because they may be in a separate box somewhere. Um, 
the F16. And then we come on to the models of yesteryear. I have all of these. I collected the first hundred models of yesteryear. I have the full collection. I was offered £80 for that one in the late 80s. Um, I didn't sell it, fortunately. So I've got the whole lot. Um, be interesting to see what it's valued at now for the whole collection. Um, I'll need to fish that out. That's again in a separate box up in the roof. So Jaguar SS100, the Prince Henry Vauxhall, the Model T Ford Petroleum Tanker, the Model A Ford Van, uh, the 1930 Duesenberg Model J, the AEC Omnibus, the Talbot Van, <coughs> Rolls Royce, uh, 1912 Rolls Royce, 1945 MGTC, love the MGs. Um, I noticed that this year Matchbox have brought out a MGB um, in 164 scale. I will try and get one for the channel. I know it won't be too fast on the track, but I just want one. Uh, 1920s Rolls Royce Fire Engine, uh, Rolls Royce Silver Ghost, another uh, 1912 Model T Ford. Uh, what's that one? The 1938 Lagonda, uh, the 1918 uh, Crossley. Got that in red. Hmm. Note, note that. Uh, um, Stutz Bearcat. Awesome looking car. Uh, Mercedes uh, SS 1928. Packard Victoria 1930. Uh, Hispano Su Suez. Again, love the colour. Um, you know that, well, those that are subscribe to the channel um, and watch the channel know that electric blue is my favorite color although that's more sky blue um, the coro 812 don't remember that one but again it looks nice i love the over the the wings over the wheels and the smooth slick lines of the the old cars 1938 mercedes 540k uh, the Auburn Speedster, I remember getting that one. Really loved that one because of the colour scheme and it looks so vibrant. 1930 Wood, Woody Wagon. And that's it. This concludes my look at my three 1980s catalogues in my vintage collection. Next time on my vintage content, I'm going to start looking through my collection of cars uh, and lorries, um, tractors, all 164 scale stuff, um, all in the carry cases. Hopefully that will be of interest to people. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stick the notification bell on, leave me a comment and I will catch everybody soon.